We're going to play a guessing game. This is one of the activities in your kit. So you turn your back to me so you can't see. And what I'm going to do is flip it over. So these are all the inner workings, the inside of the actual clock. So in this example, we have the hour of 12, and it's five minutes after. Most interesting noises occur in this shop. Good morning, Science Castle Explorers. Welcome to the lesson today on the science of time. One of the activities you can do in your kit is to, is to estimate time. And all the hands of the clock do is tell you how many times the pendulum has moved. Thank you very much. That was You're interesting. You have lots of beautiful clocks in here. Well, today we're going to get started with our, another story about Mike and Maxie going on another adventure. I wonder what time it is. I have no idea, said Mouse. You know I can't tell time, but we better go. It's time to meet the clockmaster. Well, I've been repairing antique clocks now for 55 years. That's pretty easy to do with a clock in a shop. Wow, said the boy, while catching his breath. Look at this machine. And when you wind the spring up, it's compressed and it makes the barrel turn because the spring wants to straighten out again. We always wonder what, do a, what does AM and PM mean? AM and PM mean anti-meridian and post-meridian. But the calendar and the clock displays began moving backward in time, faster and faster until they finally stopped. And when you have the sun reaching High noon, which is called solar noon, it's right in the middle of the sky, regardless of what the clock may say. Time. Oh, you were close. We still have sand in the top. In fact, the castle was completely gone. They were standing in an open field surrounded by small buildings made of stones. It's probably a hundred or more years old. The Babylonians developed a timepiece that we call a sundial. But you have a little sample sundial in your activity kit. You can punch out the card that has the smiley face of the sun on it. It looks like we've traveled back in time, about 4,000 years. I think this is a time machine. But it's a large circular disc with the time of day marked off using Roman numerals on this one. We have numbers on the one that was included with your activity kit. It was Puss, the black cat of the evil Dr. D. He was sent by his mean master to spy on Mike and Maxie and to try to steal the time machine. Another problem with sundials is they don't work at night. We have 60 minutes in an hour, and then we have 60 seconds in a minute. I'm Zarek, said the boy, and you guys are now in the city of Babylon. Well, the earliest records we have measuring time go back to the time of ancient Babylon. The precious time machine will be mine and Dr. D's in no time. 